Welcome to my first vegetable garden. Today I want to show you how to identify snail and slug damage and show you how you can take care of it in your garden. I'm also going to be doing a six or eight part series on managing pests and disease, diseases in your garden. And one thing that comes hand in hand with your garden are you're going to get a pest, pests, disease, diseases, all kinds of things that happen and really all you can do is learn how to control it. So you want to keep track of when they show up in your garden so that you can sort of be prepared and even preemptively treat for it. I planted this kohlrabi um, about three or four days ago. I sh shot a video on it. You can see already all the holes that are in the leaves. When you get holes that quickly, that's from a snail, that's from a slug. They're coming out of their winter hibernation or whatever they do and they're starting to um, look for food. I have a huge snail and slug problem, or at least I used to. Years ago, before I found this product, it's iron phosphate. I highly recommend using this in your garden. It is uh, baited pellets with iron phosphate in it. And basically, when the snail and slugs eat the pellet, the iron phosphate gets into the system. It shuts down their digestive system, and they starve to death and die. I like it because it's a... Um, bait that really targets just the snail and slug. It's not like an indis indiscriminatory uh, poison that they had years and years ago where if that chemical washed into the water it would kill fish, it could kill amphibians, all that kind of stuff. So I like the iron phosphate and if you noticed it says for organic gardening. It's right on the package. So it's safer. Anyway when I got this um, and started using it three years ago and just putting it out in the spring all of a sudden I was able to grow as many greens as I wanted to because it took care of the problem and all you do is sprinkle it around just like that nothing fancy you know a coverage that looks like that it'll last a good week the snails and slugs will come out they will eat that and in several days they'll be dead and you won't have any problems of getting the holes in your leaves just like that the mistake I made is I just forgot to put the iron phosphate out before I put the kohlrabi into the ground or my greens into the ground so Tip number one is write down when you see problems come into your garden. If it's holes in the leaves or disease, this way you'll know they're going to probably show up year after year. And then start using different products. See what works best and, you know, also write that down. So come the following year, you know, in this case, that you got to put your iron phosphate down just before you put the greens out so the slugs will be looking for food. They'll come and eat those pellets. They'll die off. And then when you put your plants in, you're not going to have problems that look like that. So hope you enjoyed the video. Gives you a sense on how to identify slug and snail damage, what you can use, and again, the bait is iron phosphate. Look for it as the active ingredient. It should be the only active ingredient. It should say, let's see if we can get in there. That says 1% iron phosphate. That's all you need. You don't want any other kind of poisons or chemicals mixed in there. Iron phosphate will take care of all the snails and slugs. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.